Shalom, shalom. All praises to Yahweh. Bashim Yosha, Bashim Kakadash. Your double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. And peace and salutations to the speckled bird and to all the Israelites that look like the heathen nations. And peace and salutations to all you brothers and sisters that are out there listening and learning. And you brothers that are out there on the highways and byways across, across the four corners of the earth doing the work. And truth and sincerity. I just want to do a quick video on this article that I had came across about um, you know, just different different events and different things taking place, man. You know, if you're new to this video, you know, man or woman, you know, um, hey, this is for the Israelites. You know, the Israelites are you so-called blacks, so-called Hispanics, and Native Americans. You know, we are the Israelites according to the Bible. We are the, the Lord's chosen people, and you know, right now, the Lord, you know, in this time period that we live in, this is the time period. So when the Lord, you know, who you call, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, which his real name is Yahweh Shai, and the most highest name is Yahweh, you know, he's coming back, man, and all these, all the signs are, you know, are there, you know, right, now it says, um, this article, it says something about, um, you know, rents, rents reach insane levels across U.S. with no end in sight. And we know the scriptures say, you know, we in the beginning of um sorrow stage, like it says in Second Edges, right? And uh, let me get that in Second Edges. You know, a lot of Jake man, they 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 um they trust in this place, man. You know, the Lord told us not to do that. You know, he told us to look for a new heavens and a, a new earth, man. You know, we're supposed to hasten the coming, man. You know, but all the elect, you know, is going to do that in these time periods that we're living in. You know, this is uh, Second Edges chapter 16 and verse. This is Second Edges chapter 16 and verse. What verse is this? Uh, verse 18, it says, The beginning of sorrows and great warnings, the beginning of famine. And great death, the beginning of wars, and the power shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils. So what shall I do when these evils shall come? You see that? It says, um, I'm gonna get verse 19 it says, Behold, famine and plague and tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for an amendment. Verse 20 it says, But for all these things they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. Verse 21, it says, um, verse, uh, 21, it says, Behold, victual should be so good cheap upon earth that they should think themselves to be in good, good case, and even then shall evils grow upon earth, the sword, famine, and great confusion, you know, hey, and a lot of that is going on, you got a lot of confusion, a lot of people that are you know, they're in the days, they're in a, you know, a spiritual trance, man. I'm going to get this another book of Second Edges, the same book. I believe it's chapter 8. What is it, verse 51? Verse 50, it says, um, So many great miseries shall be done to them that dwell in the light of... It's so like, I'm going to reread that. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time showed the world in the world because they have walked in great pride. You see that? So these things that's going on, you know, rent raising up, you know, um eviction, what they call them, uh moratoriums and then you know, you got you know, you got Esau saying, you know, and if you don't know who Esau Edom is, he's the so called white nation. The nation who the Lord hates, the nation that is ruling the earth right now, you know, you got them saying that this, um, this plague that's been going on for two years is, is over all of a sudden, you know, hey, but Lord, the Lord told us to keep going and keep being occupying prophecy, you know, can't let your foot up off the gas, man, can't let it go until you get to, to your destination, you know, so to speak, but, um, all the signs are here, you know, you got, you got a uh, rise, rising gas prices, man, man. You know, where I live at, you know, in uh, Louisville, Kentucky, that's almost four dollars here. You know, shoot, you know, be walking to work. You know, if it gets to five, six dollars, 
you know. But you know, hey, us in this truth, us in this faith, man, we uh we trust in the Lord, man. You know, we trust in the Lord. Let's get that in uh Second Edges, the fifth chapter. I mean, I said Second like Edges, Second Corinthians, Salakia, the fifth chapter and the seventh verse. It says, uh, for we walk by faith and not by sight. You see that? So no matter how bad things may be or seem and look, you can't lose track of that goal, you know, which is enduring until the end and knowing that the Lord, Yahweh Shah is with you and he got his angels surrounding you, you know, in these times to come. So even now the angels are near. They're they're always around. Even though you can't see them, they they always around. You know, I want to get this in uh, the book of Matthews, chapter 6, what is that, verse 18, I always be getting the wrong verse, but, um, I'm going to start at verse 19, it says, um, lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust do have corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, and neither where neither moth nor rust nor corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. You see that? So you got you got a lot of jakes, man. And you know you got a lot of jakes that are preppers. You know, they think that they can somehow be able to counteract what's what's coming. You know, with this uh, society societal collapse, and you know, um, just you know, just everything that's coming down the pipeline. You got jakes that think they can outsmart the system. They think they can. Beat the system. Hey, man, you ain't beat anything of the Lord in which you, man. You definitely ain't going to survive because everything is of the Lord, man. You know, whether you live or whether you die. You know. <clears throat> this is uh, verse 21. It says, but where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. So you see that a lot of jakes, man, they, they treasure, you know, is in this world, man. You know, they 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 treasure the things that are in this world and they cherish it, and that's where their mind is. You know, but it's supposed to be on on heavenly things, spiritual things, man. You know, I'm gonna skip down to verse twenty four. It says, "Um, no man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve Yahweh." And mammon, you see that? So you can't, you can't serve, you know, the, the Lord and be the Esau system, man. You know, and pretty soon, man, you know, and you ain't gonna be able to uh, be an Esau system, man. You know, if you don't take that, that grain of rice, man, that karakma. You know, you got all these different events taking place. You got all these different rumors of wars, and you got all this inflation going on. Where you know, I just read scriptures, you know. They're saying that this is this is that time that the Lord is going to judge this place, you know, and a lot of miseries are going to happen, man. And this is the beginning of sorrow stage, man. This is the book of uh, Habakkuk chapter two and verse three. It says, "For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come." And it will not tarry. You see that? So, hey man, you know, just because, you know, it didn't happen today or right when we wanted it to, that don't mean these things ain't going to pop off, man. Like I said, you know, like I brought up earlier, you know, about them uh, easing these restrictions and them saying that she ain't got to wear these masks no more, man. It's not over, man. Esau, didn't, they didn't do all this stuff and go this long for two years for no reason. They have a plan. They had an agenda. You know, this is, uh, I'm going to get Psalms, right? It says, um, let's get this in, I'm not going to read verse 1, I'm going to get Psalms chapter 2 and verse 2. It says, the kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. It says, uh, he that sit up in the heavens shall laugh and the Lord shall have them in derision. You see that? So, hey, man, you know, you got these different 
kings, these different heathen nations that are in power and that are in charge, man, that are pulling the strings behind the scenes, man, making this society collapse. Man, you know, like I said, the earth was given to the wicked, the Edomites, which are the so-called white race, you know, and this is what they do, you know. And a lot of our people, you know, whether they know it or not or um, accept it or not or, um, you know, they uh, tell you, you know, they're not going to say, oh, I think like the so-called white man, I, I believe in his blood. They're not going to say nothing like that, but they have the mindset of them escaping these times. Like this article about the rent going up and, you know, all these different things going up. What you, what do you think is going to happen? You know, it's going to get worse. It's going to continually get worse, man, until the Lord come back, man. You know, and the Lord tell, told us to seek him while he may be found. And I think I'm going to end off on that because this is a short lesson. You know, this is Isaiah chapter 55 and verse uh, 6. It says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found, and call ye upon him while he is near. So now is the time to seek the Lord. You still can, you know, go get access to the, to the words of the Lord by his prophets, man, that the author and the highways and byways preferably be great millstone, man. You can still, you can still access them, man. You can still come across videos and get edified, you know? But, hey, man, them days is fastly approaching to where you ain't gonna be able to, you know, you ain't gonna have no instances when stuff gets, is high priced and you can't afford it and people, you know, all hell really break loose because there's all these different things going on. It's over, man. It, it, that's that's when it's going. That's when it's over, you know. But hey, I'm enough on that. Hey, all praises to how about Shemel Shai by Shemel Kakadosh. The double honors to the elders of Green Millstone. The peace and salutations to the speckled bird and to all the Israelites that look like the heathen nations. And peace and salutations to all your brothers that are out there doing the work out in the highways and byways. And to all you sisters watching, why I blah blah blah. Shalom.